Uh, today, you're going to be able to take part in making your very own latex balloon. Uh, what we're going to want you to do to assist us in making the balloon, uh, we'll be adding the neck roll. Uh, if you've ever tried to blow up the balloon without a neck roll, you realize it's very difficult. Uh, so what we're going to do um, is uh, dip the balloon for you in latex. And you, you must be careful because the latex will be wet and uh, you don't want to bump it uh, because it will cause a defect. So our, our team will bring it around to you and you'll just take two fingers and just roll it down like so to create that roll. Okay. Uh, assisting us in this task uh, will be Mr. Q and his robot assistant. This robot is going to be part of an R&D line that we're going to be building uh, to help us expedite new shapes and colors to you and get them in your hands quicker. So as you can see right now the robot is taking these preheated forms and dipping them into co coagulant mixture. And if you watch closely you'll be able to see as the heated forms cause the water to evaporate and they'll change from this glossy finish to a, a matte black. Once the uh, forms are dry, they'll then go into the latex dip, where the coagulant will react with the latex to form a film around the balloon. Um, is it ready? Okay. So now we're going to go into the latex. After it's dipped in the latex dip, our team will bring the forms to you uh, by your number, based on what number you uh, were given earlier. We retract about a half of an inch right here to leave a thin spot on the balloon to start the roll. And we pull them out nice and slowly to get a nice, smooth, uh, and even coating on, on the balloon or on the form. After they're uh, rolled, after you put the roll on, they'll go into our leach tank for about five minutes, which will remove the salts and proteins from the latex, some of the proteins. That will take about five minutes, and then we'll go into the cure oven for about 15 minutes, which will take the liquid latex and turn it into solid rubber. Okay, so now we're, we're now going to call out numbers. Um, there are two lines on 